Here we go with the uh, attempt at the steamed cake. I found a steamer that works. I just took this thing that was in the middle, unscrewed it, and now that'll work. Hopefully, maybe. So, um, yeah, now let's see if, if I can do this successfully. Okay, so in this bowl, there we go, I have three egg yolks, which I then mix with a cup of condensed milk, mix that all to whip that all together. And I added a quarter of a cup butter, softened butter, uh, so that it mixes properly. And a teaspoon of vanilla, mixed all that up. And then added a cup of flour, three tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I believe that's it all <laughs> uh, that's in here. So mix that up until it's all well mixed. And then take your egg whites and whip those up until a soft peak forms. There we go. So you can see how it's foamy and some medium peaks have formed. So now you want to mix this into your batter, fold it into your batter carefully, half at a time. And you want to do it carefully because this air you've created with the egg whites, you want to retain that because it looks like uh, that's one of the keys to the success of this cake. So. So I put a half in, so I just kind of want to show the second half. And gently, you can see I got rid of the whisk and I'm, and I'm using a spatula to kind of get that, maintain that structural air as much as I can. Okay, so once you have poured it into your container, you cover it with tin foil and, and then the lid and let steam for approximately 45 minutes at medium high heat, apparently. So, um, yeah, let's, can't wait to see how this turns out. Oh my gosh, the cake smells so good. So good. I can't wait. Major tip, don't let your pot boil dry. That was definitely one of those things that I was concerned about <laughs> happening with this recipe. And it's um, definitely very much a very real possibility. So just be very, very aware of that. And if your pot does boil dry, make sure you do not pour something into it until it cools down. Because otherwise, <laughs> you will get a pretty decent uh, burn. Trust me, I speak from experience. It's, I've only had um, to deal with workers comp twice in my how long have I been working in the kitchen? <laughs> um, quite a long time, and that was one of them. Um, luckily, I didn't, I didn't have to take time off, and there was nothing major because my chef knew how to handle it. But um, uh, yeah, <laughs> it could have, it could have had had my chef not known how to, had it not been dealt with properly right away, um, it would not have been, it would not have been good. Definitely, it was uh, so. Be warned. It's what it definitely that was one of the worst burns that I've ever had. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure that pot does not boil dry. And again, if it does, wait till it cools down before you add anything else. Take it off the heat. Wait till it cools down. <laughs> okay. So sorry. First of all, sorry about my dishwasher going. <laughs> um, did not fully think that plan through when I started it. 
but um, yeah, so it's finally done. It did take a little longer. I think it's because I did not have a lid that covered it, so it let all the steam, or not all the steam, but some of the steam free. So that's why it um, took longer because because once I put that, uh, I ended up using a uh, pan <laughs> to cover it and it kind of covered the whole thing so that the steam would kind of like go back on itself. Um, that seemed to to uh, work <laughs> and it seemed to cook a lot better. Um, so whether that helped or whether it was just because it was almost the time anyway and if I left it alone it still would have taken that long I don't know but definitely that seems to be a key issue to have that lid so it fits so it actually covers it so the steam cannot escape the pot so <laughs> that's there, there's another lesson for you so we're just about to take it out of the dish Okay. So I did also to run my knife along the side, or run a um, butter knife along the sides to loosen it up uh, from the sides as well. I did also spray it just for that extra precaution because last time I made something it stuck. If you remember my bread story, so I didn't want to chance it with this, so I sprayed it. So let's see. sticking look and it came out it's super super smooth let's take oh, take the parchment off so you can see kind of the edges but it's got a nice I don't know how you, if you can hear that I think that's I think that's the dense density we're going for. Um, again, like anything else, like this baking that uh, you cook like this, stick a toothpick in the center, and if it comes out clean, it is done. So, okay, let's cut into it. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that texture! Oh my gosh! Absolutely, look at that. I haven't even tried it. I can just smell it and the texture and it's, I'm super excited. Look, look, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, let's try it. That is really good. Wow. <laughs> That's, I have to say, next to the Jaeger bomb or the Jaeger Meister brownies that I made, this is one of my favorite things that I've made in the past few months. Um, let me rephrase that. Other than the stuff that I've made, the recipes that I've made up and the brownies, this is one of my favorite recipes that I've made um, so far in the past few months. Wow. I'm so proud of this. <laughs> Definitely, it's, um, it's, it's not that hard. The biggest thing is that steam thing. You really have to, you really have to um, fi make sure it's the right, right size, make sure it's the right um, pan that you pour the batter in, make sure that the pot's the right size, make sure the lid's the right size. Um, but definitely that vegetable steamer thing that I had worked. Um, so that, and that you can, I think I got that at a grocery store or something like that. Like it's a pretty common, pretty common item. So if you don't have one of those, but yeah, so excited. Enjoy. Until next time. <laughs>